This will be the third video on Touch OSC, OSculator, and Digital Performer. And especially for James Dunlop, you asked about how do we add labels to the Touch OSC layout. Another thing I just briefly want to mention to you is one person also asked about why don't we show Touch OSC editor using a keystroke directly instead of using OSculator. One of the reasons I like to use OSCculator and not just using Touch OSC's feature of adding a keystroke is it's been working extremely flaky for me. Um, that's one thing. But more importantly, let me just show you in OS, uh, Touch OSC editor, if we wanted to make a button that controls a keystroke. So if you make the button, we'll go here, we will select key, and here is the selections of keys you can use. However, when you go into the special keys, there's not much of a selection here. Like brackets, left-right brackets are used uh, quite frequently in some DP shortcuts. It's not available here. So apart from being a little flaky, uh, I don't have the full flexibility just using Touch OSC Editor. But more importantly, when we're looking at OSC Culator, one of the things here is we can also target a special applications. Have you seen in a few moments, we will make another button with a label and use uh, OSC Culator is that you can target a special application for that specific button, which means that on our layout, we could add another page. We can control like Melodyne or another. If you run contact uh, in a standalone mode or Mach 5, Falcon, whatever, that you run those in standalone modes and you want to set up controls in your OSC on your phones or tablets, you can do that with OSculator. So that's so much more flexible going that route. But anyway, let's go back here. I made this button. Change the color of the button. I like a blue button for this. It doesn't look that blue to me, but anyway, that's good. I want to just um, use that for OSC because we'll set up the key command in OSculator. Now, I want to add a label to this. So we will right click here again and I will select label. I get a label here. I'll actually move it on top of the button. You can see here I can change the text in there and I'll call it ZTS. So I will use this for zoom to selection. You can select the size of the font. So I'll make it really small. Let's zoom in a little bit so we better can see what we're doing. I can make it as small as I want. Just want to have that sit right here in the center of my button. Okay. We'll save. We'll hit sync. Go to the iPhone. Double click. Select our template, click Add, select the host, OK to override, click back to touch over C and click Done. And now you see I have my button there with my label in the center. Click Stop Sync. Oh, sorry, one thing I forgot was the name of the button here. It's just called Push 1. I could, I should have renamed it. Let me rename it right now to Zoom to Selection. So there, no spaces, all, all lowercase. Save. 
let's sync this. Double click the dot on the iPhone, go to layout, click add, select the host, click OK to override, go back to touch OSC, click done. OK, we'll stop sync. Now we'll go to OSC Culator. I'll touch the button on my screen and now you'll see it added the zoom selection button. When we click it, we will set it to do a key combo. And now we'll first let's go to DP, just check the shortcuts that assign to zoom to selection. So I got the commands here, so zoom. So zoom to selection is option, command, and S. Let's go back. Oh, escalator. Make a new one. Option, command, S. Click OK. So here it is. We will select Run Digital Performer, our default target, Def uh, Digital Performer. Now, one thing I haven't talked about in the previous videos, also here on the right side, you see you have a column called Memo. So I can double click here and make a label here called Zoom to Selection. So I can remember what all these key comb combinations are doing. So this was Add One mono audio track and this one was open lyrics so just as long as we remember that so now you can actually see here what they're, they're doing can save that And now let's go to DP. Let's go into the sequence. Let's do a selection right here. Let's go to the iPhone and let me click the zoom to selection button. There you go. Zoomed right out to the full window. So if you go here, you see I set my Whatever I selected will grow to the full window size. Let's try just one more thing. Make another label. Just call it Master Fader. And put that straight on top of the fader. Save it, sync. Double click the dot to open the settings on the iPhone. Click the layout, click add. Click the host, OK to override. Back to touch OSC settings and click done. Let's stop sync. Let's go to DP and the mixing board. And on the iPhone, let's see how it works with the label sitting in the middle of the fader. You see, totally works. For any questions, ideas, slander, whatever, hit me up at lastudiotech at gmail.com.